I now recognize Dr. Carlos Langoni, Rector of Florida State University, Panama. Mr. Alonso de la Guardia, Vice Rector for External Relations. Uh, Ms. Luz Marina, uh, the English Language Program Coordinator. Students, faculty, and administrators of the FSU Panama English Program. It's a pleasure to join you tonight for this special celebration of awarding of certificates of completion of the English language program. This celebration is long overdue. As we all know, due to the restrictions that resulted from the COVID pandemic, for almost three years, we had not been able to gather and recognize those who completed the requirements for their English language certificates. For those that will be receiving their certificates today, my congratulations. This achievement will allow you to create a solid foundation on which to build upon. Some of you may be aspiring to a long-awaited promotion or to a new job that may require the domain of the English language. Some may be aspiring to new education opportunities that will require a bilingual status. Whatever your goals are, you now have a tool that will make the journey to reaching those goals a little easier. It's no secret how important the mastering of a foreign language is, especially the English language. It's estimated that the world population today is about 7.9 billion people. Approximately 1.5 billion speak English, and that's about 19% of the world population. Of those 1.5 billion, about 400 million are native speakers of English. The other 1.1 billion speak English as a second language. So today, you are going to be joining that group. There is no doubt that in today's globalized society, the ability to communicate in English is a very valuable asset as the primary language using, used in the business, academic, and tourism, English is, is English. This is the reason the teaching of English as a second language is so widespread. Many of you probably learned some English while in elementary school, or middle school, or high school. It, was, it is probably the case that your domain of the language was not quite sufficient. That's why probably you decided to improve your knowledge of the language, knowing that it would be beneficial for you in order to progress in your career or to open up your education opportunities. You probably had many choices when it comes to deciding where to study English. Probably it was not an easy decision. However, I can assure you, you are not mistaken in allowing the FSU English Language Program be your guide in that journey. The FSU Panama English Program has built a very solid foundation created in the course of almost 50 years. It functions in close collaboration and guidance of the Center for Intensive English Studies in Tallahassee, one of the many centers and institutes of the Florida State University. The administrators are committed to facilitating your progress through the program, and the faculty is well-trained, experienced, and highly committed to facilitating student learning. In essence, you made the right choice in coming to FSU Panama 
English language program. In conclusion, I want to congratulate all of you receiving the certificates today and also those who made it possible for you to reach this milestone. Thank you very much. I now recognize Mr. Alonso de la Guardia, Vice Rector of University Relations of Florida State University, Panama, and Director of the FSU English Program. Buenas noches. Como una deferencia a algunos de nuestros invitados que aún no habla inglés, eh, voy a tomarme la licencia de hablarles en español. Estos últimos dos años han sido difíciles para todos y me da una gran satisfacción ver a un grupo de personas que en medio de la crisis sanitaria aprovecharon su tiempo e hicieron el esfuerzo de avanzar en su perfeccionamiento profesional y académico. Son los 24 estudiantes de nuestro programa de FSU English que esta noche recibirán sus diplomas. Hoy Ustedes ingresan a un club exclusivo, el Club de los Diplomados Bilingües Español-Inglés de Florida State University, que les abrirá muchas puertas en sus vidas, tanto en sus carreras profesionales como en el ámbito personal. Sabemos que a veces no es fácil dedicar el tiempo, el dinero y el esfuerzo que se requiere para estudiar inglés, cuando al mismo tiempo hay que cumplir con otros compromisos laborales, familiares y personales. A cada uno de ustedes les damos una merecida felicitación y nuestro reconocimiento por el esfuerzo que han realizado. El inglés abre puertas. Recuerdo con mucho cariño a mi profesor de inglés cuando era estudiante en el Colegio de la Salle, eso fue hace ya muchísimos años, el profesor Richard Dodd. Era un señor inglés muy afable que siempre decía, el inglés es un gran diferenciador. Nos mostraba una gráfica donde comparaba los salarios que se pagaban en Panamá en aquellos entonces y los salarios que devengaban los panameños que conseguían trabajo en la antigua zona del canal gracias a que hablaban inglés. La diferencia era abismal. Si en ese entonces el inglés había, abría puertas, hoy día abre con puertas. El dicho el mundo se ha globalizado, más que un simple dicho, es una realidad contundente. El mundo ciertamente se ha globalizado y ciertamente el inglés es el idioma de la globalización. Hay y habrá siempre muchísimas oportunidades para los que hablen inglés. Los sacrificios que ustedes han hecho para aprender a hablar inglés correctamente los verán retribuidos con creces en el ámbito laboral tanto como en el ámbito social y personal. Y para nosotros en FSU es motivo de gran satisfacción haber contribuido a su aprendizaje. Esta noche tenemos el gusto de tener entre nosotros a los primeros cuatro jóvenes graduandos de nuestro programa de inglés juvenil, a quienes les damos una muy especial felicitación. Y aprovecho para invitarlos a que, ahora que hablan inglés, consideren a FSU como una opción para sus estudios universitarios. Quiero agradecer el aporte de dos personas muy especiales que con su dedicación de cada día hacen posible el éxito de este programa. Son la profesora Luz María Ojeda, coordinadora académica, y la señora María Enríquez, coordinadora administrativa del programa de inglés. Quiero agradecer también a nuestros profesores, algunos de los cuales nos acompañan esta noche en representación de todos sus compañeros. Sin la dedicación de nuestros profesores, sería imposible mantener el altísimo nivel de excelencia de nuestro programa. Gracias también al doctor Langoni por su apoyo y a todos los funcionarios de FSU que durante el año contribuyen al éxito del programa. Les deseamos a los graduandos muchísimas felicidades y muchísimos éxitos. Muchas gracias.
I now recognize the student for the class of 2022, Maria Valeria Rami. Hi, it's been a while. Huh? My name is Maria Valeria Rahme, Valerie for short. Why did you decide to sign up for this program? Why did you get this far? Undoubtedly, English is a common ground for communication. It's a language that brings together so many countries. Sadly, even though I felt comfortable receiving information and understanding English, whenever I had to speak in a business meeting, I would overthink and get nervous. For instance, I remember my first phone call in English when I was working for a British company. It, I couldn't focus because in my mind I was planning what to say, and it went terribly. And I almost cried at the end. It was really frustrating, the experience to struggle for words, and I couldn't express correctly everything that I have planned to say. That's why I decided to sign up for this program. Nowadays, demonstrating one's level of English is necessary to pass several filters on the job market. But also, speaking with confidence and naturally, it's a milestone that I know many of us wanted to reach. Above all, I appreciate that I could take levels that remove me from my comfort zone throughout this program. And when I started at the FSU and up until a few months ago, it would take me hours to write an email and I would check and check and check again and then erase everything. It still happens sometimes, I'm still learning, but now I'm giving a testimonial speech that I wrote quickly and I even had fun writing it. The pandemic has been a challenge for all of us and I have had at least eight remote projects with English speaking teams in the last two years uh, and the communication was great. A few weeks ago, I met one of my former bosses at an online meeting. He was surprised that I spoke English confidently while presenting an important topic. Furthermore, I know I need to keep practicing and improving my, my grammar and skills. However, the way I carry myself and the spirit I bring are noticeable skills curated throughout this program. Certainly, the exposition and the practice allow us to blend and improve. Finally, I want to congratulate all the fantastic students that finished the program on 2021. <laughs> thanks, thanks to the teachers and the staff of the FSU. Thank you for listening. I now recognize Professor Luz Marina Ojeda. Good evening, Dr. Carlos Langoni, Rector of FSU Panama. Mr. Uh, Dr. Alonso de la Guardia, Vice Rector for Un uh, University Relations and Director of FSU English, faculty members, FSU English teachers, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to address this year's FSU English graduates. Henry Ford said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is a success. As a professor and English coordinator, it is in times like these that make my job more rewarding. A graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion as it represents a significant achievement for all of us, a culmination of months and years of effort and hard work. Learning English during these times has required determination, 
dedication, and endless motivation to both students and teachers who have taken up the great challenge of virtual classes against the backdrop of the pandemic. However, despite this global pandemic, uncertainty, uncertainty in the job market, the transition to a virtual reality, and the shifts in our academic and personal lives, we have made it. You have made it. You have made it possible. I want to look forward and consider the future and the positive impact which our students will spread across our country and abroad, enabling them to enhance careers, increase professionalism, and contribute to a better bilingual environment. <clears throat> I would also like to thank my colleagues, our FSU English teachers, who have supported us for a long time and those who have recently joined the team. Thank you, teachers, for your dedication and commitment to all your students during all this time. Thank you for volunteering your time and facilitating the journey to our students. May we all strive to continue making of FSU English one of the best courses of action to learn and develop all English skills. Graduates, you know this day belongs not to your not to your not to you but also to your beloved ones your families and friends their support encouragement and love have brought you to this great moment graduates please let's give your family and friends a big applause To finish, I just want to wish you the best in your future endeavors. So keep working hard and participating to achieving your goals. And remember, as I have always said, English opens doors. May God bless you all. Queremos agradecer esta noche también a los funcionarios de FSU que organizaron este evento. Primero a la señora Valerie Myrie nuestra maestra de ceremonias, la señora Mary también es coorganizadora de este evento, a la licenciada Anubis Espino, licenciada Espino es la coorganizadora del evento, y al señor Pedro Aues, quien estuvo a cargo de los recursos tecnológicos y audiovisuales. Antes de despedirnos, queremos también reconocer el esfuerzo de los padres de familia y los demás, fami ups, y los demás familiares de los graduandos que con su apoyo moral y económico dieron la oportunidad a muchos estudiantes de completar sus diplomas. También queremos pedir disculpas a los esposos, esposas, novios y novias por su paciencia durante las largas horas de Zoom en que le secuestramos a sus seres queridos. Bueno, con esto hemos terminado este acto. Tengan todos muy buenas noches.